Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be learning the process of fashion, the full life cycle and what that means to really understand where your fashion comes from. Lateral Trend is a channel that brings you the best in eco culture. If you want to learn about sustainability, fashion, trends, hit that subscribe button or comment below and give me some suggestions on what you would like to see in the next video. Today we're going to be talking about the process of fashion because it has come to my attention that people just think that our fashion is together. What does that even mean? Together. Um, there, there's a process that happens before the together. For all you visual learners out there, I created this. A tiny little seed that is planted into the ground. You plant the cotton, the cotton grows. We have to add water and sun. All of these pesticides and fertilizers and land, not to mention you need a lot of land and a lot of water. 2,700 liters of water just for a t-shirt. The cotton needs to travel a lot of distance to get to the manufacturer. That brings us on to the next topic of how our fibers are shipped. So the processing of fabric, the yarn needs to be produced by spinning. With the spinning production, these oils to lubricate the fibers so the spinning process can be much easier. Number two, is the fabric production, weaving, knitting, and also non-wovens. There are a lot of chemicals that are involved in this process. So it's the breaking down of the fibers and the sizing chemicals and lubricants that are used producing these yarns into fabric. Number three is the pre-treatment, washing, desizing, scouring, bleaching, mercerizing, and carbonizing. This is almost like a pre-treating before you actually get to the dyeing process. Number four, dyeing and printing. There is so much water waste in this process. Printing and washing, they use pigments, binders, plasticizers, and detergents. All of this waste is going back into the water system. So you can only imagine how much dyes and chemicals are being just dumped into our water system. Number five, finishing treatments are basically for all of those specialized fabrics that are crease resistant, water repellent, anti-wrinkling, anti-pilling. So there's more chemicals that are involved in this process. So after all of that has been done, the fabric is put onto rolls and transported to the manufacturer. When they're transporting, they have to wrap it up. They have to package it up. What do they package it in? Plastic. So from there, they ship it to the manufacturer. So the manufacturing process, the production facility, once they receive the goods from the fabric mill, they let the fabric relax. So after the fabric has relaxed, they put it on a spreader, which is just a big long table. And then from there, they make the marker and then they cut the fabric. And then from there, all of those pieces are bundled up into their sizes and given to the sewers. So we're only just now getting to the sewing part of this fabric journey. So from there, the sewers work really hard on sewing up your garments for you. From there, all of the finished garments go into an ironing facility. And the final stage is packing. So from there, they pack it, but before they pack it, they add biocides, which are a preventative for mold. Any of those cellulose fibers are going to mold if it is given moisture or anything like that. And when it travels on a boat, you know, moisture does happen. So biocides are added before they pack it. Then they package it in more plastic and they ship it off and they drop ship it at a store. How are t-shirts $3? If we go through that whole process, I really don't understand. Actually, we expect that it's $3 because we don't really understand the process. I find it really funny that people think that their, their clothes are just put together. 
It's hard to say that you're sustainable as a brand. They really do have to be very conscious of where they're sourcing their fabrics. The companies that they're working with, are they also taking precautions about the chemicals that they're using? There is this trend towards sustainability, this like word sustainability, but really the companies out there that are not being fully transparent, are they really being fully sustainable? All I'm seeing is, oh yeah, we have a goal for sustainability, but we really want to know how you're going to be doing that. Like Reformation, man, check out their website. They're a really awesome brand. They talk about sustainability and their goals and how they're going to be doing it. And all of that information is right on their website. Next week, we're going to be launching a video on what can be done in order for you to be sustainable or a brand to be sustainable. Please share it with anybody that just understands fabric to just grow on trees. Thank you for watching. This is Farron signing off.